What is up guys, this is Jared Spalding here, and today I want to discuss how to protect your silver stack, you know, a lot of people out there stack silver and then, you know, just like, don't really under, not understand, I'm sorry, don't really, you know, know how to protect that silver that they have. I mean, my silver stack's not the most impressive by any means, but I still want to keep it safe, you know, so, I mean, it's something that you had definitely have to consider if you are a silver stacker. Now... The first thing I do want to discuss here is arming yourself, and it doesn't necessarily mean buying a gun, because as you can tell if you've watched, you know, enough videos on my channel, you'll know that I'm not even 18 yet, so unless I were to apply for a hunter's license, um, I couldn't, you know, legally own a, a gun. However, I do have a sword, as you saw on the thumbnail for the video, so, you know, I, I, that is something that I am pretty sure that I'd be allowed to own legally, um, because it's not technically a firearm. And, you know, of course, I'm not the one that ordered it. You know, my dad ordered it for me a while back. Um, so, you know, anyway, though, I do have something to protect myself with in the stack. And, of course, that's not really an option. I also carry around um, just a small knife with me whenever I go any, you know, whenever I go out for a while, just in case anything, you know, goes wrong. But, you know, you definitely do want to arm yourself in some way, you know, because otherwise, if you're completely, completely defenseless, Someone breaks in, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, now if they have you at gunpoint, there's not much you can do. But at the same time, you know, if they're coming in just with a knife or something, you could still be able to defend yourself. And that brings me to my second point, you know. Um, I do personally, I don't know if you know this or not, but I do uh, take um, MMA classes. And one of the really big things that we focus on there is, you know, self-defense. And therefore, you know, I am able to protect my stack better than some people because... I know what to do if someone has a knife up to my throat, or, you know, if someone has a gun behind my head or, you know, bag, I know what to do. I mean, sure, it's not it's not going to be sure fire to save you. It's not, not necessarily going to, um, you know, be foolproof, but at the same time, if you can't do anything, then you're really screwed. You know, so I do, takes a lot of, I mean, it's not just self-defense, I learn how to actually fight, you know, kickboxing and point sparring, and there's a lot of traditional stuff in there, too, because it's, um, a South Korean art that, well, it's, I mean, it's multiple martial arts, actually, that's why it's called MMA, obviously, but the big thing that the school's focused around is Tang Soo Do, which is a South Korean art, and so there's a lot of traditional stuff mixed in there, but anyway, though, you know, that's beside the point, so I do try to learn, you know, how to defend myself, and another thing you want to do is, and this is a really big one, keep your silver in a secure location, you know? Maybe, let's say you don't want to necessarily put it in the bank. I mean, that's, you know, a safety deposit box is, box is going to be pretty safe. But let's say you got an insane amount of silver, right? And you can't fit it all into the safety deposit box they have there. Like, let's say you keep it in monster boxes, but your bank's safety deposit boxes aren't big enough for monster boxes. Well, it's going to be really hard to hide those, honestly. I mean, someone like Silver Slacker must have a really tough time hiding his silver. I honestly don't know what he does, but... um. You know, if you do have just a decent amount, but you don't want to bring it to the bank, maybe just try hiding it in plain sight. I mean, that's a really big thing. You know, put it in a spot where no one thinks to look, right? I mean, I remember I saw this one guy, um, oh man, I'm trying to remember the name of his channel now, uh, Cutlery Lover, and he was talking about, because he is pretty well known on YouTube, and he was talking about, you know, <clears throat> uh, how he used to hide his silver in his freezer, because he said, you know, under the ice box, he said, who would think to go look into my freezer and dig through the ice? to find the silver. I mean, you know, looking in the freezer is one thing, but then finding nothing but ice and digging in there, I mean, who would be that specific with it? You know what I mean? There's like a one in a million chance that someone might actually happen to look in that exact spot where your silver is. And see, he said he did move it, of course, now now that he was done, you know, telling us where the last location was, but you do really want to find a secure hiding spot, and, you know, I'd say safety deposit box is a big thing. That's not personally an option for me, because every time I make a video, I use silver as the background, so I'll, you know... I mean, every day I'd have to drive, or have someone drive me up to the bank, and then, you know, have someone drive me back, and then, you know, that would just be a little ridiculous. So I personally use that method of just trying to hide it in, you know, plain sight, right? Hide in a spot where no one thinks to look, but it's right in front of them. And besides, I don't think that this area I live in is not really too high of a risk of someone breaking into your house. Car robberies are more common around here than break-ins, but it can happen to you no matter, you know, where you live. So do make sure that you are protecting it that way as well because you know if even if you arm yourself you know 
and you do know what to do in a situation where someone breaks in, if you never hear them come in, then, I mean, you know, what good is it going to do you if you're sleeping the whole time and then they find your silver and leave? And speaking of not hearing them come in, try to make sure that you have alarms on all your doors, and not just your doors, though. Make sure you have them on your windows, too, because someone might break in through the window thinking that, you know, oh, well, it's going to be, you know, obviously it'll be an alarm on their door, so I might as well just come in through the window, right? And, you know, chances are they will do that. I mean, because, for one, not only is it going to be a lot, you know, more common to have alarms on doors, but also, if, someone, if you're breaking into someone's front door, you know, someone might see you. But if you go around behind the house and it is dark out already, those two things combined really could help you out in trying to break in. So, you know, no one wants to be breaking into a house right there, you know, under the light, probably if you have, especially if you have street lights, you know, or a car might drive by, whatever it is, you know. People don't want to have to deal with that. So, you know, make sure that your windows are also alarmed. And, you know, if they break the window and try to climb in, then honestly, I mean, <laughs> I really don't know what to say at that point. You know, maybe you'll hear it if it um, is on the second floor, which I doubt it would be anyway, or you having to sleep on the first floor, or if you know are like me and you do have um, dogs, then they'll probably start barking and you'd probably hear that. That'd probably wake you up eventually, but anyway, though, you know, that is all stuff to consider, at least pers uh, personally for me, definitely stuff I like to consider when I'm trying to protect my stack, because again, like I said, I don't have the biggest stack in the world, but it is still, I think, worth protecting anyway, you know, worth making sure that it's safe. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.